Hi, my name is Steve Wood from Manihu, and in this presentation, I'm going to show you um, some of the new features we have, in particular our feature around swim lanes, which is really, we're really excited to be announcing. Um, so, first question is probably, what on earth is a swim lane, and what am I looking at right now? So, let, let me uh, walk you through that. This is the design environment for building your applications that span across mobile, desktop, and web. Um, and what you're seeing here is each of these elements in the flow represents a screen uh, within the application and the arrows represent kind of an action that's taken to go from one screen to another. And these boxes, these are the new things which are called swim lanes. And the swim lane really represents authorization or where certain users are authorized to access things in this lane and certain users are authorized to access things in this lane. So if the element here is, um, depending on which lane it's in, depends on who can have access to it. So what we've done is we've created a store manager lane, which I'll explain in a second, and we've created a legal department lane. So only people who are store managers can access uh, parts of the app that are in this lane, and only the legal department can access elements uh, parts of the application that are in this lane. So the demo that I'm going to show you is, a, is an example of a kind of a supermarket application. And um, often in supermarkets, uh, the store managers have to get access to the legal team just to help them with you know, various things. Maybe that there's something going on outside, maybe a customer has hurt themselves, whatever the issue may be, but they sometimes need some legal support on, on how best to take action. What I'll do is I'll show you this application running and I'll show you also with the backdrop of the flow behind it. So let's imagine that the store manager is uh, you know, walking around the store uh, helping customers and they notice that one of the customers has actually fallen on some on wet floor. Uh, so uh, what they do is they go to their mobile phone, they, uh, uh, they open up the legal uh, app that they have on their desktop which allows them to get access to their legal team and then they will go through kind of uh, a process to kind of work with a customer and work with a legal team just to kind of get the best possible outcome. So first thing I'm going to do is log in as the store manager. Okay, so I'm now logging in as the store manager and you can see the first thing I've got here is just a legal request submission form. So the first thing I do here is put uh, this sort of what's happened. So I'll put uh, customer uh, fallen on slippery floor. Uh, floor uh, customer has been hurt uh, by falling on wet floor. Okay, so what I can also do here, so I'll submit that, and while that's going, what I might also do is say to the legal department, you know, can we uh, do this quickly as the customer is quite concerned? Okay, so I'll just share that and then we've got that in the feed. So you can see now we're just waiting for the legal team to uh, work out what to do. So actually we started on this element here and now we're in the create incident. Now we don't have authorization to that because we're a store manager, not part of the legal department. So let me just switch over to Salesforce. So over in Salesforce we have a chatter group called the legal department and in that chatter group uh, what you'll see now is we've got this post saying, oh you have a new request uh, for legal support and a link to the flow. So let's imagine now I'm a member of the legal team. I've seen this request coming in on Chatter. I've been notified in real time using my Chatter app on my mobile phone and, or on my, on my desktop and uh, I'll, I'll just click the link and join the flow. So here now I'll join the flow as a member of the legal team. So we can see here that we've got the comment from Paul Smith. Now let me just get my windows arranged slightly here. So let's get the flow back up. Let's get the uh, Etienne, who is a member of the legal team, looking at the request, and then we have the store manager on our right on their mobile phone with the customer in the store right now. So what I'll do as a legal team is I'll just comment back saying, uh, looking at it now, uh, give me a sec. Okay, so comments back. And what you'll see is on the mobile app is we automatically know that uh, there's been a post, so I'll just click to refresh the feed, very similar to you know, Twitter. So we can see the comment back from the legal team and, and uh, we can see that they're actioning it now. So we'll just sit tight. And while we're doing that, I'm just gonna hit the uh, triage to say that it's actually, this is an incident. So let's, let's treat it as an incident. And now what I'm gonna do, because it's an incident, it has to go back to the store manager to kind of complete the request. 
So now what we're doing is we're looking at the incident form, which we need the store manager to approve, so uh, to complete with us. So what you can see is we've both co-navigated now, because now we're actually working together in the app, the, the, the member of legal staff and the store manager. What's also neat is that the legal team member also has permissions in the store manager lane, so they can access both stuff in the legal department area and also stuff in the store manager area. The store manager can only access things in the store manager area. So let's go back to the app again. And you can see here we've grayed out these things to say they're no longer enabled. We've just decided that that was the original request. Let's leave it unaltered. But let's just go down and just kind of complete the review. So one thing I might just sort of say is being helpful is I might go, um, I'll uh, help, you, help you fill this in. Okay. So I'm going to hit share. Uh, and you'll see also now at the bottom that we've got that, we've been notified that there's an update. Great. Okay, so we're basically going to now work together. So the, the store manager might now go uh, and start filling in the incident description. Uh, customer is feeling okay, but a bit shaken by the fall. Okay. Um, so what's also quite neat is you can see that we're actually co-editing at this moment. So the, the lawyer can also see what's being typed in. So I might kind of go, um, is the, um, I might just put a little comment here, is customer okay? And then I might then over on the mobile side is the store manager, so say uh, customer uh, is, oops, is fine, but uh, will need some medical attention. So we can kind of keep you know, collaborating together, working together, uh, and we can use the feed then as the way that we communicate between uh, each other. So you know, um, the store manager, Paul, with the customer, can be working with the customer and showing the customer what, what they're doing. The legal member of staff can also communicate uh, through the feed, so everybody's kind of collaborating and working together. So I might sort of say, okay, well, are we happy that that represents the incident and, and, um, and, and everything that's happened? So the store manager might now use a kind of a digital signature just to say, you know, that I, you know, I'm the store manager, so my name is Paul, oops, Paul Smith, and he might then hand his phone over to the customer to say, could you also put in um, your signature uh, into the app also? And then we might even print this out. Maybe I could use the, 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 the iPhone printing capability. Maybe we get them to physically sign it. And then if they did, we could maybe attach a picture of that to the feed. But equally what's neat is, you know, during this process, as the lawyer might say, well, hey, you know, could you take oops, a picture uh, of the site and of the customer's injury? And all of this, again, so share that in the feed. And now for uh, the store manager, they can also use our new file upload capability to actually take a picture with the camera on the phone and then attach that also to the record. So what's quite nice about this is that we're kind of using the feed to be a complete record of, of this incident in this case. So I won't show that because our little emulator doesn't show uh, that, uh, the, doesn't have the camera integrated, but I'll just uh, simulate it. So uh, picture attached. So we just imagine that we'd attached a picture to the feed and share that also. So we're working together, we're working in real time, we're collaborating in the feed, we're kind of working nicely together to kind of know what's going on, we've got this nice audit trail, we're co-editing and collaborating the store manager on the mobile device with the customer, the legal person back at the office. So now I'm just going to kind of submit that as the um, store manager and let me just take you back to where we are in the flow. So we triaged this as an incident and sent the request back to the store manager. The store manager and the, the legal uh, counsel worked together to help fill out the incident report with the customer, took some pictures, attached those to the feed. So we've got all of that as a nice sort of record of what's happened. And now the store manager has hit submit to get this um, incident report approved. That's actually going back to the legal department, which so happens that we're already uh, in real time working with the legal department. And now you can see the difference again is that the store manager is seeing that they're waiting on the approval of the incident report and the lawyer, Etienne, has got the form back again. Again, now it's read only again to just say, are, are you happy that, this, that you, you will approve this uh, incident request? So if I set reject, it would send it back uh, to the store manager and we could work on it together again. But given that we worked on it together, chances of being approved is pretty high because I've been actively engaged uh, in this uh, process, so I'm just going to hit Approve. 
Uh, and when we approve it, then uh, it'll, again, go back into the store manager lane. What it's going to do is diarize a couple of things for us. One is it's going to diarize a, uh, a two-week review for us to come back and make sure the customer is okay and that they're happy with how they've been treated. And then we're also going to do an annual review uh, also to make sure the customer is okay. And also gives us the opportunity to review our procedures in, uh, in the supermarket to say, you know, well, what, what exactly happened there? How was it that a customer got hurt while they were visiting our store? So you can see now it's saying, okay, well, you know, that's all been sent to you. You can now basically close out of this and uh, come back to it another time. So we've kind of completed that part of the process. And if I go over to our uh, Salesforce again, what you'll see is that we have created uh, an incident task to follow up in two weeks. And we have also created a calendar item for us to come back uh, and review the incident in a year's time. And again, with a link to the flow. So we can kind of, any, at any time, we can rejoin this process. So at any time, we can kind of come in and come out of the flow. So let's imagine, you know, weeks have passed and we're now back in. And what's great now about the feed and about the app is we're now get brought right back to where we were. But now we've got this fantastic audit trail of all of the conversations that we had, who was involved, who was included, who was the customer. Uh, and we can see all of that immediately. All of that's just in the feed. We can review the pictures again, and then we can do our, our, our review. And maybe we could this time be working on it together with the, with the uh, store manager with us in the room. So again, you can see we've got our incident reform, we've got everything that's read-only, and then we've just got this section where we can put in our review notes. So this is just a, just a very simple example of a, of a kind of application that you can build on the Manihu platform where you're able to uh, pass work between people, there's collaborative spaces where you can co-edit, co-navigate, uh, working with a customer integrated with the mobile phone, integrated with a camera, um, and the feed becomes this uh, nice audit trail of all the activities that have happened in one place. So rather than having the conversation spread out over different parts of the social network, or having it spread through email and through chat or various other forms, it's all being kept neatly in the feed. So we have an absolutely complete record of everything that's happened. And the final bit that I'll mention about this is also kind of how the permissions work, is rather than having the permissions as part of you know, the Active Directory, or in this case with Salesforce, as part of the profiles and roles and all that kind of stuff, we've actually put the permissions for each of those swim lanes as part of the groups. So we're actually making it part of Chatter so that your ability to uh, you do, do the section of the flow that was for the legal team is based on your membership of the legal department group, which is a private group in Chatter. So if you're a member of that group, then you can action uh, requests for approval or a request coming through for submitted incidents. If you're a member of the store manager in Salesforce, uh, sorry, the, the store manager group in Salesforce, then you can action um, items there also. So hopefully that gives you a reasonable sense of our kind of new swim lanes technology and the kind of the collaborative apps that you can build to really help enable your business function more effectively and efficiently. Thank you.